be not unequally yoked. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 14 and 15. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? The world is Satan's and those who follow his worldly ways are corrupted to the core and belong to him. Their destiny is condemnation into the lake of sulfur, fire and brimstone and the gnashing of teeth in perpetuity. Believers belong to Christ Jesus. They are resurrected into the realization of hope and promises of Christ and God into the everlasting joy and peace and divine fellowship with the triune God. And while on earth, they find God's mercy, grace and favor. Fact. Believers are different than non-believers. It can be discerned and perceived that the above two groups of people don't have any common ground to come together except by the weakness of the flesh. In such coming together, the outcome can assuredly be measured by colossal spiritual failure. For any believer who bonds freely without concern with worldly friendships is bound to be dragged into inappropriate behavior, ideas and alliances. The main worry about believers being unequally yoked is that they may gradually disconnect, it, disconnect spiritually from the truth. How deep and how intimate should our connect be with the world is distinctly made clear in Romans 12 and verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Stay sanctified. Praise the Lord. God commands, be not unequally yoked. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 14 and 15. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial? For what part has a believer with an unbeliever? Thank you.